in trouble. Gets it across to Martin. Six to shoot. Martin working backers. Martin, tough finish. Six point Iowa lead, 2.50 to go. A date with undefeated South Carolina on the line. Arnold into the lane, dips under and finishes beautifully. And now Connecticut will take a timeout. And Lisa Luter doesn't get enough credit for allowing Caitlin to be Caitlin, for allowing that young woman to take the logo threes, to play as freely as she has throughout the course of her career. Under 2.30 to go. Clark trying to get free. Instead, it's Marshall. 15 to shoot. Iowa by four. Martin off the handoff. Martin putting it on the deck, spinning inside, and finishing! Kate Martin wants this! Martin, Marshall, Clark know they are all staring graduation in the face. Beckers, the mid-range dish, and Edwards, the beautiful finish. What a decision by Paige Beckers. And Aaliyah Edwards having a huge second half, up to 17 points. Four-point Iowa lead. Clark, the catch, Clark can't finish it. Rebound Edwards, Clark wanted a whistle, did not get it, an opportunity for Connecticut. 125 to go, Connecticut trailing by four. You know Ariema directing traffic. Beckers gets free in the corner, misses it short, follows it up, and it's taken away. Iowa basketball with 105 to go. What a golden opportunity there for UConn as Mule gives the foul to Clark. That will be number three on Nika Mule. Just the second team foul on Connecticut. Not sure why. Looked like she was almost intentionally fouling Clark there. I actually kind of like it. It gave her team a chance to regroup. Oh, they're playing the foul game with this yeah. much time. Very interesting. I thought Mule just did that to kind of give her team a breath and a chance to huddle up. A falter. Gets it into Stolke. Stolke looking to hand it off to Clark. Instead, going to wait. Trying to hand it to Martin. Martin then throws it away. Here comes Mule with Beckers. Arnold jitters through. Mule, a three. It is good. It's a one-point game. The pressure from Connecticut forces the turnover. And now it's a one-point game, and Connecticut can play straight-up defense if they want with a nine-second differential. I mean, incredible. They push it the other way. Nika Mule, who has been quiet offensively in the second half, hits a huge three. First points of the second half. Here's Martin. Martin trying to get it into Marshall or Clark. It's into Clark. Clark being guarded by Mule. Clark running some clock. Comes down to this. Iowa leading by one. Nine second difference game and shot clock. Clark running time. Ten on the shot clock. Clark waiting. Clark on the move. Finds Stolke. Stolke dishes. It's taken away by Arnold. Saves to Edwards. And Connecticut takes the timeout. Clark had it in her hands. Gave it up. And Iowa turns it over. 
Now it's Connecticut. Down one. A trip to the title game on the line. Mule, the drive. Five seconds left. Looking for Badgers and an offensive foul. An offensive foul on Edwards with 3.9 to go. They were trying to set a screen for Paige Beckers to get a look here. Aaliyah Edwards barely leaning, and the foul is called. Oof. And Gabby Marshall, who has made critical defensive plays at the end of games throughout the conference tournament and the NCAA tournament. She is three for three from the line tonight. And drains the first. Box out's vital. Biggest free throw of Caitlin's decorated career. Is no good. Rebound to Falter. And what's it going to be? A hell ball. And Iowa has the possession arrow. Iowa has the possession arrow and controls. Such an overlooked part of the game. Boxing out on the free throw. Not overlooked by you. 1.1 to go. Iowa out of timeouts. Clark bounces off of Beckers out of bounds with just one tenth of a second remaining. What a brilliant play by Clark. And there is barely any time left. Point three has to go off the clock. What was the clock at when she threw it off of Beckers? 1.1. But I think it may have taken an extra hop inbounds. Let's see. Boom. Boom. Maybe point seven it'll be at. We're going to put it at point eight. It has been a grind to the finish here. An offensive foul called against Edwards prevented a potential game-winning attempt from Connecticut. They're going to move it to point eight or point three. Let's see. They're still discussing at the scores table. Now they go to point eight. Clark to inbound, Iowa by two, point eight to go, and that will do it! Iowa survives Connecticut and heads back to the national championship game.